Hey guys, guys welcome, welcome back, back to our, our channel. Today we're going back to our roots. This was what we recorded with our first video. We're going back to Matthew got KFC, I got Taco Bell. If anybody remembers, if you did, give it a thumbs up because you've been here from day one. And uh, I got KFC today again. And guess what? It came in a Taco Bell bag. Let's do a little reference to when Matthew thought that Taco Bell and KFC was the same thing. This is Taco Bell in KFC paper with KFC fries. But yeah guys, today we're doing another mukbang with a Hanson. That's right. And we're going to be talking about our marriage. And we're basically going to be talking about our wedding day. Unfortunately guys, I have to relieve the horror. So, Ice. how was your morning no of the wedding day, babe? Like, how did you wake up? Did you wake up, what's it called? Like, nervous at all or no? Not really. No, I know I was gonna marry the love of my life. First nice thing that Matthew has ever said to me on this channel. <laughs> That's a lie. So what did you do when you woke up? No, eat breakfast and shower. So it was just a regular day for you? Yeah. I bet it was, I took care of everything. Can I tell my point of view of the wedding? Yes, if you want to. Inej is also here, she wants to say her point of view. Now? Whenever. Why are you wearing glasses like you're no superstar? Okay, so how was everybody's morning? Good. I had to wake Wait, up early. Wait, what the night before? There was things that happened in the night before the day of the wedding. Let's start from the night before because the wedding day for me, kind of like the preparations really started the night before. So that was all about me and my sister because Matthew was just chilling. He's going to be doing that a lot on our wedding day. I don't realize why girls have to be so extra with wedding day. It took me a it's week to get It's not right? even hard. You just put the dress on, you get your toes and your nails done, do your hair, put your makeup on, walk down the aisle, say I do, go back home. That's literally it. It took me a week to get ready Says for the wedding. person who didn't do anything. Actually, I did do something. Let's start with the night before. So, what were you doing the night prior to the wedding? I don't remember. Wasn't that my bachelor night? No. <laughs> I don't remember. I said it. I don't remember. How was your night before? Because I don't remember mine. Stressful? Mine was probably easy going. She was really stressed. She almost threw up. I don't know why. The whole day, the whole day before and the day of the wedding was stressful. Really? I remember the we dress. We went to go get our nails done. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to interrupt, but we went to go get our nails done right in the morning. I get to the pedicure place and manicure because I was supposed to do my hands and feet there. They were shit. I hated the way that my feet came out. So I was like, I asked my friend, I'm like, I was still keeping in mind. I was still at the like pedicure salon. Like, hey girl, can you please call this place for me? I seriously need to get my nails done there. Check was available. She said it. I got an appointment there, but it was stressful as hell. Yeah, I remember the day before we went to the nail salon. They were late, like mm -hmm. almost an hour late to the thing, and they didn't even do your nails properly. Mm -hmm. And then what else did we do that day? The flowers? Oh yeah, then we went to the flower place. The lady actually did them nicely. Mm -hmm. Then then when we were gonna go to sleep though, the dress was like hanged on like um the curtain thing. Yeah. I remember we were about to go to bed and she's just staring at the dress the whole time for like I don't even know how long. And she's just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna get married tomorrow. And the girl's like talking and talking and talking. And then I started watching. What was that show called? Oh, it's that show where people like, the, they would buy the wedding dress thing. Yeah, say yes to the dress. And I was looking at my dress and I'm like, this is not the dress that I like envisioned myself getting married with. But me and Matthew did plan our wedding in two weeks only. So that's probably why it was so stressful too. I don't too. even know why you guys make the wedding look like the wedding's supposed to cost like a million dollars when the wedding can be like the cheapest thing ever. Like. Yeah, but you just have to know how to budget the money. I then want a fairy tale wedding, so I want my wedding to cost a lot of money and to be planned in like a year. Okay, but guys, po point of the story. I won't talk then. Went to go grab the flowers, then I went to the nail salon, and guys, I literally love the nail salon that I go to. They do the best job. But that day, I got a girl. That's not my regular girl, and I love my regular girl. And I love the girl that used to do the nails before my regular girl does, but the one girl who did the nails on my wedding day did them crooked. And they were literally, I think I had two of them that were crooked to the side, and that just, that pissed me off so much. It literally ruined my night. I thought you looked beautiful. Then after when I saw you, you kind of princess. That's probably the prettiest you ever look. And thank God it was the day you were gonna marry me, cause I didn't wanna marry no Shrek. Dead. So yeah, so that was our night. It was pretty stressful. Then let's talk about daytime. 
<laughs> what did you do in the morning, lad? Well, probably like my regular day. Where was I? Where was I? Was That's I? why the wedding was not to <laughs> at all. I took care of it all. Oh, 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 no. But wait, the mm. night before, we also went to the restaurant yeah. to put everything on the table. Like me, my sister, and my parents. We went to the restaurant. We decorated the whole thing the night before so we wouldn't have to go in the well, in the morning. I'm not supposed to see you before the wedding anyway, so I couldn't help you. It's bad luck. Oh, I didn't even know. I only figured out what I was going to wear for her wedding the day of. I didn't know. That ended up looking really good. I don't know where. My wedding day was stressful too. I don't know how. We woke up super early to go first and get the cake, the wedding cake. And from the wedding, oh, and it was raining when, when like I woke up. So I was like, this is fucking terrible. So then I went to go get up the wedding cake. And then from the wedding cake, we brought it to the restaurant because we didn't want it to like melt or whatever. So we had to go straight into the, the restaurant, dropped it off at the restaurant. Had to go to the car rental place because my parents were renting like a different car from what they have. We had to go to the car rental place to rent a car. It was terrible. I couldn't pull up then, in the bus. The only relaxing time that I think I had was probably between 11 and 1 o'clock. That was the only relaxing time that I had throughout those two days. You probably was on the toilet those times taking a car. I really wasn't. I was in my sister's room trying to figure out the and pictures, actually, like pictures ideas. <laughs> It wasn't because me mm. and mom also weren't home. There was a point where you were home by yourself because me and mom had to go get ready for your wedding as well. That's because I ha I left earlier. I left around one o'clock. That was probably the smoothest process I've dealt with because they never practiced it on my hair. I went there, showed them the picture. They did it. It was perfect. Everything. The only person who did not like my hair was my mom. My mom hated my hair. She wanted to you weren't to supposed that. to see that. You didn't like it? Uh, well, first of all, you let your hair down. Uh -huh. Your hair was down, and then it had like the flower thing uh -huh. in the back. The flowers didn't match the flowers on your bouquet. <laughs> and what do you mean? The back of it your was dress, the same flowers. What are you back talking of your about? Dress, no, it was not. Yes, there was. There was the flower lady like, who gave them to me. I was speaking, and on the back of your dress was so nice, and you couldn't see it because your hair was down. Even though it's not that long, you should have had like some sort of like up type of thing. You could not I have hair. a long face. I don't like updos. You're doing you didn't you have what do you have on right now? Yeah, but this is different. I wouldn't want an updo for my wedding day. And I wouldn't want an updo neither. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now the whole process was smooth. Then I go home. My parents are not home, so I have to wait on them. And then I literally I'm so thankful for this girl. She got somebody to do the makeup for me, but the lady was late, half an hour. So it started stressing me out even more. Then she came whatever we left. I was going up the stairs and I almost fell. I still have a video of me literally almost falling up the stairs. I will insert it here. Then we get into the wedding and I'm on my way there. Our photographer calls, which is also our friend Hugo. Love and him. says, Eduarda, isn't Matthew supposed to have two wedding bands? And now you can take it from here, Matthew. But not that moment. That's when he knew. He fucked up. No. Listen, I took the box, but I didn't remember that I showed my dad the wing before. And I took it out the box, so I just brought an empty box. And I thought I had everything planned out, but by the time I reached downtown, and I bust the box, empty. Where's the ring? Oh, the ring's on the counter at home. But you know what I do, because I am not a complainer, and... I am a problem solver, unlike these females of the generation. What I did was to use the promise ring that I gave her as the wedding band, and then just switch the wedding band when it's time because yeah. it don't so make we a difference. Used, she not gonna die if she don't have it on. We used this ring as the wedding band at the wedding, but this is my actual wedding band. So we fixed that issue, and then the actual ceremony. Guys, this is so embarrassing. One oh. of you guys can say what happened okay. in the ceremony. I got Guy, the priest, told us that me and Matthew's um, brother have to walk down the aisle, and then who else have to walk down the aisle? Just Your dad have to walk her down the aisle? Right. Who yes. gave me away? I was already at the you altar. Were at, you were at the, yeah. I walked with my mom and dad. Yes, and I walked with his brother, and then we like split ways, and then I was on one side, he and was on the, the other. And was just laughing the whole and time, then, I don't know for what. Guys, I kept laughing the whole way. Like they were videoing, and I'm literally looking at Luke. No, first of all, I remember <laughs> my sister gave me the flowers to hold, like the bouquet while the actual ceremony was happening. Yeah. And he kept just doing like these weird ass faces towards me, like on purpose. To make you laugh. To make me laugh. So I'm hiding like behind the bouquet, like I went to the bouquet in front of my face, and just laughing. 
And then like everyone in like the audience that were like at the front, not the audience, like the people, like the guests were just yeah. like telling us like stop, like stop doing that. And randomly, see my sister when it's like, oh like you know, like you may kiss the bride. This girl is like, instead of kissing him, kind of like falls on top of him. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? All of a sudden, she falls on the floor. That's right. Because she, she fainted. Because I'm too hot to I think handle. it was the heels. I think she I fainted. Was, I think I was too hot to handle, so she couldn't so manage. Then. Wait, 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 wait. She could not fathom the thought of being married to me, the king. She was getting the full. That is not it. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. She was getting, she was getting the full package deal. And she didn't get that any time before in her life, so she know that she's with the perfect nah. she knows she with the perfect guy so she know her she couldn't just con she couldn't contain her feelings contain herself so she just let it all out there on the floor and that's where she was that was not it it was a really hot day i was wearing super high heels it was so hot and it was literally oh, yes, the whole the, the that day and the day before was so stressful i think that's why that's and rubbish i faint for everything man it was i never see a faint before and in the room was had ac so i don't know how it was a hot There's day so much more to the story that's right, that's continuing right. it when she fainted on the floor people from like everyone else sitting down watching obviously just got up and like ran to her and the only people who like didn't take it serious were me and matthew and his brother because mm -hmm. like we know how she is like this girl fainted in church once i never seen it you never seen it you were you weren't together i know yeah thank but God. like i already know how she is she kind of faints for like every little thing like the second it's like hot she needs to faint like once we were walking on the street and she just fainted anyway so it's um can I go? I'm laughing. Listen, piece. I'm laughing. The priest looks at me <laughs> and he goes, "Does she need water or like a chocolate or anything?" And Matthew proceeds to say, "Yes, bring the Kinder Bueno." Laughing like so hard, but like no one else. My own that. husband was laughing. I'm me fainting on our wedding day. Bro, the closest I got to kissing you on my wedding day was right here. That's it. The only thing touched me was your nose. No, you what do you mean? We kissed after. after. Yeah, after she fell down. Yeah. Like when I'm gonna kiss her, it said, "You may kiss the bride. Come like you ready to kiss her now." And I went like, <laughs> okay, like a turkey. Like, yeah. Right down there. I'm like, yo. The restaurant. Let's move on to the restaurant now. The restaurant overall was good. Matthew almost fell asleep on the. <laughs> he did fall asleep. Because he was tired. <laughs> the food took forever. We got there at eight and it only came at ten. Yeah, that was the only thing. But yeah, guys. These are some of the stories of our wedding. They clearly Eddie did everything and Matthew did nothing. But bro, I did the biggest thing in a guy's life, bro. I married the love of my life. To, What's wrong with y'all? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you never miss another, another fainting video with, with the, the fam. fam. Bye.